guys thanks for stopping by so today I wanted to show you some stuff some seeds that I've started and some propagating that I'm doing and I got this really cool new light that works really well for starting seeds or really for anything you have in a box I really like this light so um, I'll go ahead and just show you all that we got going on here let's do it so real quick I'll show you what the light looks like underneath I hope that doesn't make you all blind. Uh, if it does, I won't include it in the video. But, um, it's really bright. Like, we have this on at night for a while, you know, after we go inside and it looks like the sun's shining in here. I'm not even kidding. It's very, very bright. So let's go ahead and show you some of the other Oh, let me mention one other thing. This is where we started. Um, I've got seeds here. These are mostly garden and flower seeds uh, that I've started. And um, we've got some more coming up. But yeah, they did really well in this tray here. And then all you have to do is pop them out. And I'll show you a video of when I was popping them out of here other day they just pop out so easily and a lot of these need moved they're starting to get very leggy um, but I, these are the ones that I've already moved to their bigger pots and they're really liking it underneath this it's a light by Mars Hydro it's really cool because it it just attaches to the ceiling. You see that? And then you can adjust with these little straps right here how high or low you want it to go. And I'm not going to mess with it right now because I've only got one hand, but it's pretty cool. And then on the top, there's this little gauge here. You can just turn it if you want to dim the light. Um, it doesn't put, well, it does put out some heat, but it's not like super hot. So that's good. And yeah, um, since I've moved these under here, I feel like they are more, they look better. So I've got a lot of things. I'm going to grow artichokes this year. I've never grown those before. And then these little ones over here are some of my tomatoes. And then we've got like pumpkins and squash and watermelons over here, some peppers. Um, this here, these are some seeds that haven't come up yet. I got, if you watched my dollar store video challenge, I got this at the at that dollar store. It was like $3, it came with this. It's got a little tray under it to catch the water and I planted some seeds in it and they, I don't know, the dirt in here is weird. It's like when I first watered it, the it didn't even soak in. So I don't, hope I haven't, you know, ruined all the seeds here, but I've got some passion flower growing back here and then some, a really pre pretty red morning glory, which is a weed. I don't know what my deal is with growing weeds this year, but. I guess it's only a weed. Certain ones are weeds here. <laughs> but, and then this right here, this is a kind of bat flower. And I've also got some other types of bat flower growing in those over there that are in better soil and in the um, plug, you know, in the plugs. So this one, I'm waiting for my new, for some more, pots to come in so that I can transplant them because uh, I really like the four packs for for the garden vegetables and that when we got this light we had to install just this cord that hooks from here to here or no it was already hooked there we just had to hook it in here and then we had to put these wire things on here 
and then attach these. So that was all the assembly that was required. Yeah, and I just really like, I mean, a lot of lights are just the little lamp or, uh, you know, those little twisty ones with the like bar lights on them. But I like this one because it's a nice square and it hits a, a big area. So I'm gonna put the details for this light in the description. And the company also gave me a discount code for you if you want to. It's already really not that expensive of a light. So, and then plus there's a discount. And I love it. Look how big those pumpkins are getting. Yay. Okay. So let's look at my propagation box now. I think this light would work really well over any of these propagation boxes. I just might need to higher or lower the light, but that's super easy with those little clasps that are on the side of it. So let me show you what I've got in my boxes. This one, I don't keep a lid on. Um, these were propagated directly into the soil as well. All of these were. And this is the uh, Macrophylla, the Albo Marginata. And that one seems to be doing pretty good. So we'll have those coming up pretty soon. And the ones that I propagate myself on the shop, I do for um, really cheap. So that's what we had wanted to do with the shop. That had been our aim for the shop in the very beginning was to propagate all of our own stuff and then, you know, sell them for extremely cheap. But we just couldn't keep up because you guys are so awesome. And so, but we've gone back to doing some of those and then we'll offer them for a really low price in the shop. Okay, this box has some Hoyas in it. And I've already showed you all those, but we pretty much keep the lid on that one too. I try to take it off every day for a little bit. And then over here, we've got... I've just got these tubs everywhere. So we've got some pink princess propagating. There's some Hoya public calyx. We've got some uh, turtle vine, some Hoya bella, a couple more peperomias. Oh, there's some fishtail Hoya over there. Okay, in this box we've got I've got some Hoya Linearis. Uh, what are you? Oh, some Scandens, some Peperomia Scandens, some really big ones. We've got some more Perus, some Cebu Blue, more of the Mykins. We got some Hoya Chelsea. And um, this is a Philodendron, it's the Lemon Lime. And this one's different from like, this one's also sometimes called the lemon lime. But this one has a heart-shaped leaf. And this one has a more longer. See, I think this one might be called the lemon lime and that one's the neon. But I don't know. I. Anyway, we've got both of them in here. We've got some more Hoya Publicalix. I don't know if I said Peru's. But everything's doing really great. I'm really, really happy. These boxes, they really make a huge difference. Over here by the south window, I've got some uh, Trandiscantia nivalis propagating. Um, this is a way cool Trandiscantia. Here's the mom plant right there. She's gotten a ton of new growth, but as the as it ages and, where's my finger, gets enough sun, this is what that looks like. It's way cool. Um, this is the Ficus Ali over here. We've got some Sissus, the Rhombifolia. Um, we've got a Monstera Albo Marginata. We've got some more types of Peperomia in here. Uh, we've got the 
philodendron eribescens, the green variety, some orchid cactus. Yeah, we've got about a little bit of everything, I think. Hey guys, well, thanks for stopping by to watch this video. I sure appreciate it. If you uh, like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or let me know anything about it in the comments. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great, great day and remember to plant on.